Hey guys, Chris Long with Connected Correctly in Long's Northwest Hitch. Um, I'm out in the field today, so I apologize for my gruff appearance. Uh, it's a little cold out here today, so we're trying to let some warmth uh, stay with us. But anyways, um, I had to make a quick video because we got some people waiting to get some answers on this situation that we found ourselves in. Um, this will be kind of a three-part video smashed together, uh, and the, the purpose of this video is more for the engineers at General Motors um, and perhaps BMW for us to explain to them what we're running into. This is a, what, what we've got is we've got a 2024, I believe, GMC Sierra 3500 HD four-door crew cab, uh, one-ton SRW, single rear wheel, and it has the factory prep package in it. And what we're having the problem with is, is that the BMW RVK base for the Puck or the OEM companion fifth wheel hitch, the base is not going down into all three Pucks, um, or all four Pucks. I can get it down into three, but one of them is not. It's off by about uh, 16th, maybe an eighth of an inch. Um, and at first we thought we might have a situation with the the base but we got this the we got bmw on the phone and talked through the specs did a bunch of measuring everything seemed to be within spec but just to be sure bmw sent out a second base for us to try and i'll get into that in the on the back half of this video it, it also did the same thing but um before that second base came uh, we did some measurements in the bed uh to show what our problem is which i'll show you that video now but before i do that i wanted to give you a quick uh disclaimer in the video when i'm measuring from uh inside edge to outside edge of the puck openings in the truck first i referenced 22 and a quarter and it's actually 22 and 5 16 i think i correct that uh correct myself in the video but i'll actually say so you can see here that our measurement on the front rail is correct and our measurement on the rear rail is correct I do not know what General Motors specs are for center to center measurements on those puck openings. All I can tell you is that these are at 22 and 5 16 And when I said that the measurement was correct, I meant to say consistent. The measurement on the front rail side to side and the measurement on the rear rail are the same. Therefore, they are consistent, perhaps maybe not correct. So I wanted to, to correct that before you watch it. Also, too, there was a little bit of a communication error between me and jackson my helper about what i was trying to showcase on the router for the first time you, you'll probably catch on but the idea that their the rails are parallel with each other what i'm trying to say is that the puck openings when they're parallel with the bed ribs or parallel with the bed you'll notice that there is a is a is an offset uh when we try to line the router up with the two outside edges then that will showcase just how crooked it is my my opinion is is that the center section is is not welded correctly i think it's uh, or the the puck apparatus the uh prep package apparatus is not welded correctly that's my my uh, that's my findings but i'll let you watch this video here and i'll talk with you as soon as you you're done watching that all right we're attempting to get this bmw rvk uh, 3775, I believe it is, uh, OEM sliding companion fifth wheel hitch in this 2024 GMC 3500 HD. And I'm able to get these three pucks in, but I can't get that one there, uh, passenger side front. I can't get it in. If I manipulate the hitch where that falls in, then these two will go in, but these two won't. I think we may have a problem with the truck and here's what i'm going to show if we hook that tape measure to the inside edge of the driver's side rear puck and measure to the outside edge on the opposite side one there we're 22 and 5 16 okay 22 and 5 16 same thing up here hook to the inside edge and come out here and you might have to let that tape measure come up a hair because of the bed but there we are also 22 and 5 16 so our side to side spacing from here to here is correct our side to side spacing from here to here is correct but here's the thing that's a little troublesome when we put a straight edge on i'm gonna show this one up here because this is the one you're gonna line up with get the straight edge of that ruler lined perfectly up with that outside edge right there see how he's got that perfectly parallel 
I'm, I'm kind of going off to the side, but if I go over here, you can see what I'm talking about right here. Perfectly parallel with that edge. Okay. And what, okay, here, I see what you're doing, Jackson. What he's doing is he's lining up the, the edge of the ruler here and the edge of the ruler here. And then if you look at the ruler down here, see how, how far to the left we are on that bed rib? Come up there and then look look how far over we are that way. It's, it's sitting in here like that. Same thing on this side over here. But before I show that, now, Jackson, what I want you to do is line the ruler up with that edge parallel. Make it as parallel with it as you can. Right there, okay, so I'm gonna kind of come to the side. What we're trying to do is get that edge right there perfectly parallel with the ruler right there. And then we come down here and you can see we're parallel with the bed as well. See how we're parallel with the bed rib? And now look here, that's a problem that gap right there. Why are we, the ruler is straight with the bed. See see where we are in relationship to the bed, bed rib up here versus back here. Parallel with the front edge right there, but back here, we've got a pretty disparaging difference right there. Same exact thing over here, and not only the exact same thing, but the same result in that line the front one up um, but we're not going to be able to see it on this one. So use the other edge. Yep. So now you're going to use that edge. You're going to get that all nice and perfect. Get it perfectly parallel. Tell me when you like it. Up there. So parallel with the edge up there, off down here, while the ruler itself is parallel with the bed rib. So what it looks like is that we might have a GM product where the front two pucks are a little this way and the rear two pucks are a little this way or the front two might be set in position while one is severely out or vice versa. But what, what I'm getting at is the front two pucks are not in line or parallel with the rear two pucks. That's what I'm seeing on this truck. I don't know if that's a completely welded in system or if there's you know room for that to move, but BMW is gonna send a new base. And based on what I'm seeing here, that new base is gonna do the exact same thing. If it does, then this truck has a faulty puck system that's not in alignment with each other. And I don't know what GM will do to fix that, but that would be a warranty issue for sure. Okay, so after watching that, you can tell that we definitely have some dimensional instability, some dimensional variance in that, uh, in that uh, OEM uh, prep package. And it would be nice if the front rail and the rear rail were independent with each other where I could just take some bolts out um, from the top of the frame and shift, you know, one rail left or right to try to line those up. But unfortunately that entire apparatus, it's, it's H shaped under there. You have the front rail, the rear rail, and then the gooseneck box in the middle, that entire H shaped apparatus is welded together. So once it's welded, it's, it's the way it is. Now, something that I would caution anybody who's watching this video, whether you're from an engineering standpoint or whatever, I'll try to post some pictures too. I got a, a cell phone camera down in there to show just how much that that T pin anchor is off with the puck opening. It's it's about a sixteenth of an inch, maybe a thirty second, um, but I'd say about a sixteenth of an inch. And if the idea is well, let's just file the side of that T anchor down or file the inside edge of that uh, puck opening down. That's not a great idea because that is the actual strength, uh, the connection point of that apparatus or one of four that holds that hitch to the truck and if you go modifying that and the customer may never have a problem under normal circumstances but they ever got into a collision or some kind of an accident that put undue amounts of stress on the hitch a weakened point like that could pop loose out of that puck and cause uh 
complete separation, which could, uh, you know, cause extensive property damage and perhaps loss of life. So I, I am not recommending that as a remedy to this situation. If the OEM prep package apparatus is out of spec, then the only remedy that I'm aware of is to take the bed off the truck, take the existing apparatus out and put a warranty replacement in and then reinstall the bed. So that's probably what's going to have to happen in this case. Uh, we'll let General Motors decide what they want to do with that. I, make, I can put the uh, VIN number of this truck in the description part of this video. And here at the end, if I can put the pictures of how malaligned the T is with the puck opening in the video, like up in the corner, I'll do that. Otherwise, I'll do those now so that you can see it. Um, and because there's a difference in how much gap we actually have in the spacing and then how much tolerance we have of the pin actually going in the slot. I think the, the, the misalignment problem is about a full three sixteenths of an inch. Um, but if we could get it over just about a sixteenth of an inch, I think it would slip in. Um, so, cause apparently there's some, there's an intentional variance in there to make, you know, to allow fifth wheel bases to drop down in the pucks easily. But, um, I think we're out of spec by three sixteenths of an inch, but we only really need about a sixteenth of an inch of movement uh, to get it down. But again, if it's welded all one piece, it's going to have to be replaced. So sorry to drone on, but I'm trying to be as thorough as I can. Um, if you are an engineer with General Motors or somebody at General Motors that wants to reach out to me directly, I'm perfectly available for that. I'm sure that you guys will want the truck in your service department so that your own technicians can look at it and take measurements. But if you need uh, to discuss things with me, you can reach me at Connected Correctly. Uh, the phone number is 479-757-0077. Again, that's 479-757-0077. I'd be happy to discuss it with you. Um, B&W, they know how to get a hold of me. Customers already been made aware. Uh, we'll see how General Motors handles it. You guys have a great day.